Although burying oneself is a simple and excellent idea, obviously not everyone is cut out for it. In the Kalahari Desert, the sun works just as hard as in the Nami. That's why the animals here have also been forced to develop various techniques in order to withstand the stifling heat. The African elephant has ears that are clearly too big for its hearing needs. And although it's true that everything about the elephant is exaggerated, what do these huge lobes do? It's simple, they're fans. The elephant's ears are irrigated by dozens of capillaries filled with hot blood. When it moves these enormous panels, the animal ventilates its blood, thereby lowering its temperature. Then, as it travels towards the heart, the warm blood refrigerates the animal's body. And so the legend is debunked. When the elephant flaps its ears, it's not trying to fly. It's simply trying to cool off. Curiously enough, the animals that seem to be the smartest have not bothered to design such techniques. Experience has taught them that the heat is more bearable in a shady place. Therefore, in order to avoid being fried by the sun, they just look for something that will provide some shade. At midday, when the temperatures reach their daily peak, the difference in temperature between the shade and the sunlight is the line between life and death. But there are places where nothing produces shade. The burning plains of southern Africa are the preferred habitat for a fascinating land squirrel. It uses its tail as a tripod so that it can stand up to observe the plains. Although this may be an ingenious idea, however, its thick tail fulfills a much more important role, protecting the squirrel from sunstroke. The temperatures recorded here would be unbearable without this mobile canopy. The squirrel knows how to orient its tail perfectly in relation to the sun's position. In this way, it can search for food when the heat is strongest. The squirrel can keep active, while the predators are forced to seek shelter from the rays of sunlight. The parasol that the squirrel has invented is not for mere comfort. It's its most important extremity. This parasol may seem like a luxury, but it really isn't. At certain latitudes, the squirrel can only survive below its parasol. Latitudes at which leaving its protected environment means sure death in just a few minutes. And there's no better way to see for yourself than a stroll in the desert sun. Spending a day here without shade would be a dangerous game. A deadly game, in fact. The difference in temperature can be astounding. When the thermometer reaches 40 degrees Celsius in the shade, out in the open sun, the temperatures are over 70. The importance of this tail is quite obvious then. And yet by moving it up and down, it can also be used as an alarm against the presence of predators. It's a magnificent multi-purpose tool that saves its life once again. Living beings in other areas of the planet have been searching for solutions to fight the cold for millions of years. When the cold only lasts a few months a year, some animals emigrate towards warmer regions and others plunge into a long, deep sleep that allows them to save energy. But many animals stay active, and these are the ones that have designed all kinds of insulation. Radiators, heaters, and antifreezes in order to fight the low temperatures. This short, fat rodent is a lemming. 
It barely has a tail, nor does it need one. Here it would only make it lose heat, and in this place, no one has calories to spare. In northern Canada, where snow is present throughout most of the year, the insulating capacity of its hair enables the lemming to survive. The heat that the lemming's body gives off is retained between the hairs, creating a layer that protects it from the icy outside air. For that reason, man has used many mammal furs to protect himself from the cold. But perhaps the most important thing is the ball shape that these animals adopt to absorb the sunlight. The sphere, due to its ratio of surface to volume, is the geometric form that offers the highest insulation index. This means that a chubby animal loses less heat than a slender and elongated one. Some camping tents are designed with forms similar to igloos, and that's because they lose less heat than traditional tents. Or at least that's what they say. Many birds use a similar technique. They puff up their feathers in order to retain warm air that insulates them from the cold. The lower the temperature, the more they fluff up their feathers, to the point that they look like feather balls. But some birds, especially wading birds, always have some part of their body exposed. When their feet come into contact with the icy ground or water, they become excessively cold. The blood that circulates through their feet also passes through the rest of their body, which is a serious problem. Just like mammals, birds need to maintain a constant body temperature. The solution they have chosen is to regulate the blood that flows through their feet. They contract or dilate their veins and arteries. In that way, when it's cold, most of their blood remains in their body, while the blood flow to their feet is reduced to a minimum. The heating system in a modern home works under the same precepts. We can open or close the valves so that the hot water passes through the parts of the house that we want to heat. We have seen how some animals devise special methods to keep warm throughout their adult life. And yet from the moment some embryos are conceived, they need heat in order to survive. Birds that are conscious of the need to keep their young warm do not hesitate to stay on top of their laid eggs and baby chicks for hours at a time. The true expert at maintaining a family, however, is this turkey from the warm forests of Australia. A few weeks before the breeding period, it began to build this gigantic nest out of bits of plants and soil. Once finished, it seduced a female and convinced her to lay her eggs inside this curious creation. He was not able, however, to convince her to sit on the eggs. In reality, it wasn't necessary, thanks to the design of this ingenious incubator nest. Furthermore, these turkeys act as living thermometers. They're able to measure the temperature of the interior where the eggs are kept just by putting their head close. Then, by adding or removing nesting material, the turkey maintains a constant temperature of 33 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature necessary for the proper growth of its offspring. The heat given off by the rest of the plants in the nest as they decompose allows life to mature within each shell. The energy flows from the plant to the animal in a surprising process. 
This turkey ecology is the basis for the construction of our modern compost plants.